this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. That JW. Hi, and welcome to Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. On last week's episode, you got to join myself and my daughter Shelby out in Wyoming as we knock down a couple of beautiful antelope with our Hoyts. Well, now it's JW and Craig's turn, so let's see how they do out in Wyoming. Well, we just got set up in the blind here. JW dropped me off. He's gonna go park the Ranger back up by one of the oil rigs and uh, walk back. Um, we got a little bit of a sprinkle this morning and uh, a little bit of rain last night, but not much. They've been really dry here, so there's not a lot of water holes. And the ones that we did find, we had cameras set up. John came down here a couple weeks with Shelby and set up some blinds and cameras. We got some pretty good pictures of bucks on this particular spot. They call this one the honey hole, I think, because John and Shelby have shot some pretty good goats out of here over the years. Well, day one has come to an end, and I tell you what, we had a little excitement tonight. We had nine uh, does cut, or uh, mule deer does and fawns come in, and they were literally 10 yards away from us. Just walked right by the edge of the water, and we got to sit and watch and run around and play. So it was a great evening. We ended up having, I think, seven uh, antelope. Uh, bucks come to the water. They came on the west side. None of them were real shooters anyhow, but uh, it was a fun day. There's still a bunch sitting over there. They just never really left that area. So day one comes to an end. Uh, I'm guessing we'll be back here tomorrow morning and tomorrow's supposed to be a much better day. I have 80 and no wind and sunny. So see you tomorrow. Well, it's day two of our Wyoming antelope archery hunt, and uh, we mixed it up a little bit. Yesterday, we sat right over there on the other side of the pond, and uh, we had seven uh, antelope come over to this side and drink. So what we did is we moved a blind over to this side, and we can got about a 30-yard shot that way and a 30- to 40-yard shot that way. So we're trying to cover a little bit more ground. Uh, when we left last night, we actually saw a pretty good buck right over there, and also a where we came into this pasture so we know there's a couple good ones in here um, hopefully they'll come in today's a lot better day uh, it's supposed to be sunny high 80 light wind so we're hoping for a little better result so we'll see what happens had a, a smaller buck, pretty decent actually, they had good mass, didn't have a lot of height, and then I don't water right there, and we still got a few more out to the left of us here.
Well, as you can see, Craig and JW were having a great sit at the blind. They were seeing lots of animals, but not the one they were looking for. And it wasn't until later that evening when this big guy showed up and gave them the opportunity they were looking for. Was exciting we've had a good day we had a lot of antelope come in and I saw this one coming down the hillway over there and he was by far the best one we've seen today and we watched him he kind of cut the trail and came right to the water and I ranged at 30 yards I put it right on him and it looked like a great hit oh, here it is That's what you like to see. Complete pass through, bright red. I knew it looked good when he took off and was running around. I could see it came out right here and, and I knew I caught long and obviously he's right there so it was a good hit. Awesome. Look at that JW. Oh man. <laughs> Oh goodness, he looks bigger than when I shot him. And that usually doesn't happen. Holy cow. That is awesome. Look at the mass. The cutters. Carries it all the way through the, the mass. Ivory tips. What a great goat. Or should I say pronghorn? I tell you what, what a fun hunt. I am so thankful to have the opportunity to come out here and harvest this great animal. I tell you what, it was a fun hunt. Yesterday was the first day and JW and I came out here and it rained most of the day. Didn't see a lot. And uh, right at dark, it started to, the sun started to come out and we started seeing a few. So we thought, well, let's come back to this same spot. And I'm sure glad we did that because we had a lot of action today. Just real no big ones. and. Late in the afternoon, I saw this one skyline to the west over here, and uh, he came down, and I said, geez, I got the spotting scope on him. I said, I think he looks pretty good. I think I could see this little curl. And uh, so we kept an eye on him, and we had a few more coming in from the, the south. And once he saw them, he ran right in. So very, very happy to take this one. Not only is the meat good on these things, he's gonna look great on the wall. So thanks again, JW, for filming, and it's your turn tomorrow, buddy. Well, what an incredible day yesterday was for all of us. Uh, Shelby and John scored on a beautiful pronghorn here in Wyoming. And uh, Craig knocked one down late in the afternoon, early evening. Both trophy animals and what a trophy memory. It was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, we got out here a little bit late today. Um, I'm up today and Craig's behind the camera. John and Shelby are actually sitting where Craig and I were yesterday. We're in a new, new water hole, just thought we'd switch it up a little bit. Uh, we were able to take care of the meat and everything this morning and the hides and, and get everything packed up nicely on ice, which is extremely important. Uh, 
And uh, now we're in the blind just waiting for some action. Uh, this hole has had a few pretty nice antelope come in the uh, last couple days, but it's been a little bit later in the, in the afternoon, so uh, it's uh, not too big a deal that we got in a little bit later, but um, it's a gorgeous day. Uh, we're blessed with some good weather again, and just going to have to wait and see what happens. And um, now it's uh, the exciting part, uh, the waiting, the being patient part, but you just never know when one of those things are going to just step up over a over a hill out there or just pop up and it's such a wonderful feeling to, to look out the window and that black face is just staring right at you it's uh, i kind of i refer to them as prairie ghosts sometimes just because they just pop up out of nowhere but so we're just going to sit here and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the beautiful day and wait for a big old wyoming pronghorn good luck buddy thank you <laughs> Well, as luck would have it for me anyway, um, we've got some weather rolling in. It, uh, it appeared this morning that we were going to have a pretty good day. We still might have a good day as far as animals are concerned, but it's, uh, well, it's about 1 o'clock or so and uh, the sky turned a little gray, so we checked uh, the radar and we've got some storms uh, just kind of east and west of us and moving to the, uh, to the north, but they kind of clipped us a little bit. So it'll probably slow down the antelope action a slight bit. Uh, maybe it'll just make the evening that much better. Well, it's actually a late afternoon now. It's probably five o'clock. I think the last time I checked in, it was in the morning and we had some rain and cool weather and wind came through that came through. And uh, there was a buck that we spotted this morning right away, a really good buck. He's out there, you know, three quarters of a mile, and we haven't really seen anything other than that all day. Well, the sun has come out, the wind died down a little bit, and, uh, you know, we're, we're getting into that prime time where things can start happening real quick. But this particular buck that's out here, we have uh, trail cam pictures of him from yesterday, and um, I'd say there's a really good chance he's going to come in. It might be a little bit closer to sundown, but I'd say he's going to come in. And he disappeared on us for a while, but he's back in sight. So things could get a little exciting here. More down. Well, we got that big goat coming in. Pretty exciting. He's been out from us about a mile all day and just decided to commit in the last five, ten minutes. He is done. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Woo! Yeah. <sighs> he is. He's 15 yards right now. He is done, baby. Nice shot. 
it's not too far away, I know that. He made kind of a half circle here, carried it with him. I saw it fly out, well, I, I see blood. I see blood, so that's good. And there's my arrow. Ooh, broke right in half. That means it was a heart shot, the opposite shoulder. Love it. Boy, is there blood, Craig. My gosh. This is awesome. Well, here's the other half of my arrow. Came out the other side. Incredible. The damage that those kill zones do is amazing. Man. Incredible. The blood is crazy. I, I don't think I don't think this goat made it 10 seconds, five seconds maybe. There's blood everywhere, and he's a beautiful goat. He is exactly what I saw on trail cam yesterday. Exactly. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, Craig, he's beautiful. You know, he's as far as horn length, he's not like crazy long, but I've been wanting a buck like this for so long. He's kind of got that heart shape with his, he curls in so hard. He's got, he's got nice mass, you know. Oh, man. Wow, how lucky can a person be? Oh, Craig, thank you so much for hanging out. And it was a long day today. We saw two goats today. This one we saw once at about a mile, and then he left, and then he came back, and about seven o'clock he started his way in. Oh, he's beautiful. Well, on behalf of everyone at Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV, I just wanna say thank you for, for staying with us here and watching this week's show. And uh, I wanna say a special thanks to the landowner. And I guess we're gonna see you next week right here on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. Wow, he's beautiful. Taxidermy services provided by Dakota Taxidermy, capturing the spirit.